to talk to someone with contacts and resources in City Hall. Someone who's best friends with the mayor? Someone like Castle? He's gonna be so smug about this. I'm sorry, did you say you needed my help? Castle. You heard her say it right. Dad, let it go. Thank you. Castle, do you have the intel we need or not? <laughs> Tell her. When I was in middle school, Dad did four months of extensive research into the inner working of city finance for a novel he was writing. Yes, but then I realized that that novel would be the most boring novel in the history of novels, so I wrote a Derek Storm book instead. Okay, so then you have a pretty good idea of which city officials would be able to hide a $10 million slush fund. Yes, and it's a pretty small list. The only people with access to the entire budget are the comptroller, the mayor's chief of staff, and the deputy chief. Stephen Reed, the guy we met with. I know for a fact that the chief of staff is in London with the mayor. And I made a few discreet calls. The city comptroller was at a fundraiser when Dave was shot. Which means Reed is our main suspect. OK, so how do we get this guy? May I suggest the midnight run strategy? The what? Midnight Run, it's one of the top five buddy movies of all time. And you're suggesting we base our legal strategy upon this buddy cop movie? No, he's right. It could work. At the end of the movie, Robert De Niro tricks a mobster into taking computer disks he thinks contain evidence against him. And just by showing up to take them, the mobster is committing conspiracy to obstruct justice. If we can trick Reed the same way, then we've got all the leverage we need to expose the slush bun and go after him for Dave's murder. But, Kate, you can't be involved. Why not? Because if Reed isn't involved, then all this blows up in our face and you take the head. And you don't need that. Let us shield you, Captain. <sighs> OK, I'm out. For now. Thanks. <laughs>